Hello, Akit Angels! This is Teacher Anna, and welcome to another Matinic episode. Today, we will learn about the area of a sector and segments. Are you ready? That's great! This episode is just a continuation of week 5 to 6 lessons. So still, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to illustrate secants, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle, proves theorems on secants, tangents, and segments. And of course, before we talk about the area, let us define first what is a sector and a segment of a circle. What is a sector of a circle? A sector of a circle is the area bounded by the two radii and the arc between the endpoints of the radii. In the given figure, the yellow part is the sector of a circle and it is bounded by the two radii and the arc between the endpoints of the radii. Here's another illustration for the sector of a circle. Now let us talk about the segment of a circle. What is a segment of a circle? A segment of a circle is the area of a circle that is bounded by a chord and the arc with the same endpoints as the chord. In the given figure, the segment of a circle is the shaded part, which is in color blue. As we can see, it is bounded by the chord PQ and the arc PQ. So, how do we solve for the area of a sector? The area of a sector is a fractional part of the area of the circle, just like arc length is a fractional portion of the circumference. So our formula is the measurement of the central angle over 360 degrees multiplied to the area of the circle which is pi r squared. How about the formula for the area of a segment? Let's take a look at the given figure. From a segment, we can form a sector by having two radii that will connect to the endpoints of the segment. And aside from a sector, we can also form a triangle. A triangle is separated from the segment. Therefore, our formula for the area of a segment is the area of a sector minus the area of a triangle. And of course, there is no better way to check your understanding other than having an example. Example number one, find the area in terms of pi. You need to find the area of the blue sector and leave your answer in terms of pi. Again, our formula for the area of a sector is the measurement of the central angle over 360 degrees multiplied to the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. The measurement of the central angle in the given figure is 60 degrees, and we write 360 degrees. Then we write pi, and we substitute the value of the radius, which is 8. Then we write squared. The simplest form of 60 over 360 degrees is 1 over 6. Then, 8 squared is equal to 64. Pi multiplied to 64 is equal to 64 pi. And 1 over 6 multiplied to 64 is equal to 64 over 6. And the simplest form of 64 over 6 is 32 over 6. Three. So, the area of the sector in terms of pi is 32 over 3 pi. For our last example, calculate the area. You need to find the area of the blue segment. Again, our formula for the area of the segment is area of sector minus area of triangle. Let's solve for the area of a sector first. Again, our formula for the sector is the measurement of the central angle over 360 degrees multiplied to pi r squared. 
the measurement of the central angle is 120 degrees. Then we substitute the measurement of the radius which is 24. And the lowest term of 120 degrees over 360 degrees is 1 over 3. And 24 squared is equal to 576. Pi multiplied to 576 is equal to 576 phi. And 1 over 3 multiplied to 576 is equal to 576 over 3. And 576 over 3 is equal to 192 pi. And 192 multiplied to pi is approximately 603.19. That we have identified the area of the sector, it's time for us to solve for the area of the triangle. So instead of using the formula 1 half base times height for the area of the triangle, we will use the area of the triangle in trigonometry, which is 1 half multiplied to AB sine C. Because in the given figure, the given measurement is only limited to a radius and the central angle. We can also use the one half base times height formula, but it will take time. In the given formula, one half multiplied to a b sine c, a and b are the sides of the triangle, or in the given figure, those are the radii, and c is the angle measurement. Substituting the value of the ratios in the given formula, we have 1 half multiplied to 24 multiplied to 24 sine and the angle measurement is 120 degrees. Don't forget to input 120 degrees. And 24 multiplied to 24 is equal to 576. And half of 576 is equal to 288. And using your calculator, input 288 multiplied to sine 120 degrees. Again, don't forget to input the degrees. So, the area of the triangle is approximately equal to 249.5. 42. Now that we're able to identify the area of a triangle, we can now solve for the area of the segment. Again, the measurement of the area of the sector is 603.19 and for the area of a triangle is 249.42. So substituting the two to the given formula, which is the area of a sector minus the area of a triangle, we have 603.19 minus 249.42 So the measurement of the area of the segment is approximately equal to 353.77 Again, the area of the segment is 353.77 And that ends our lesson about area of a sector and segments. Dear Acute Angels, you did great in watching and listening. I hope you are now confident to answer activities related to it. Again, I am Teacher Anna and see you on another Matinic episode.